and gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for this devotional. Today we're in Daniel chapter 2. I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. It says, In the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams, his spirit was troubled, and his sleep left him. So he's in a interesting situation. Then the king commanded that the magicians and the enchanters and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans be summoned to tell the king his dream. So they came in and stood before the king and the king said to them, I had a dream and my spirit is troubled to know the dream. So fellas, uh, we dream all the time. Actually, the average person dreams about three to five times each night. And most of the time we don't recall these dreams, do we? Psychologically, we, we still don't fully understand why we see images in our sleep and the meaning behind them. But popular theory suggests that we dream to consolidate maybe our memories or to process emotions or to clarify desires that we may have. Now, I don't know about you, but there have been many seasons of my life that I have been troubled by dreams. I would almost call them nightmares. <laughs> they tend to happen when my anxiety is very high. And therefore, in those moments, my dreams, they become more and more vivid and memorable which is Nebuchadnezzar's experience here. He had a very vivid dream, therefore his spirit was troubled and it prevented him from sleeping. Yet in the case of Nebuchadnezzar, we know that God gave him these dreams, right? God troubled him with ideas and images that were so vivid that he knew there was a meaning behind them. So what he wants from his seers is the meaning of the dream, but not just that. He wants them to tell him about the dream that he had as he slept, which is a pretty tall and impossible order. So guys, have you ever been in a situation where someone has projected onto you their anxiety? Maybe because their anxiety is so overwhelming, they present you with a problem that you can't possibly solve? I hate to say it, but I encountered this situation every single day. Every day I talk to men who find themselves in impossible situations. Therefore, they come to me with a problem that I actually cannot solve. Maybe it's a, a marriage in a mess or a career in chaos or families in ruin or overwhelming addictions. And guess what? I feel the weight of these projected anxieties. And more than anything, I would love to remove their anxiety and repair the situation so that they can sleep again and find peace again. But guess what? I can't. But there is one thing I can do. I can pray for these men. I can bring their impossible situation to the God of all possible things. So today, if you feel like you're facing an impossible situation, let me and my team pray for you. Just share your requests in the comments below, and we will pray for you. And we will bring your impossible nightmare and all its anxiety to a God who makes everything possible. Jesus said this in Matthew 19, 26. He said, with man, this is impossible, but with God. All things are possible. I love you guys. Hope this has blessed you today. If it has, share it with someone who needs to know about a God who can do all things. And with that, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.